Um, so what I'm going to do first are the frittata muffins. And this is going to be kind of in that scrambled egg vein, but this is going to be maybe a little bit more portable. Okay. And what I've got here is a mini muffin pan. Now, you can certainly do these in a full-sized pan. Um, two of these, if you do a full-sized pan, would be a great serving for breakfast. It would give you about 160 calories, about, oh, what do I have here for protein? 12 grams of protein. That's pretty good, right? You're going to get about an egg per muffin if you do that, okay? Um, eggs are the good guys, you guys, okay? So we get questions about cholesterol, you know, are they bad for me? Unless you don't eat animal products for a different reason, okay? Um, eggs are full of um, protein. They're full of choline, which is good for your eyes. That protein is going to help keep you full throughout the day. And of course, if you're trying to um, make sure that you get enough protein throughout the day, you want to make sure you space it out pretty evenly. And that's how your body is going to absorb it best. So this is a great way to do it. These do um, reheat well. They do freeze well. So you'd be able to make a whole bunch of them for the week, pop them in a freezer, uh, in, the in a Ziploc bag in the freezer, and then you don't have to think about breakfast. All right. So what I've got here, grab a spoon. So this is the magical kale. All right. All I've done here is saute it with a little bit of olive oil and salt and some green onion. And if any of you were in the last class, you tasted how good just plain sautéed kale was, right? Um, and what I've got in this little, and you can do any veggie. And I should say that all of the veggies, all of the recipes that I chose today can be used with any vegetable. All right, these are all really versatile. I just chose kale. Um, in my mini muffin pan, I've sprayed it really well, and I've got a half of a cherry tomato in each one. Okay, I guess that's technically a grape tomato. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit of veggies in there. And my hands are clean. And in my measuring cup, I've got some eggs and some cheese. I'm using cheddar cheese today, but you can use any cheese that you like. I've also got a little bit of milk in there just to loosen up the egg. Okay. And I like to put the cheese already in the eggs because it just sort of makes it easy to incorporate, you know. And these are going to bake in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. You can see you can make a whole bunch at once. That's it, right? Super duper easy. 